I am Anil Kumar and here is another question from unit test 1 functions. Determine x intercepts of function f of x equals to half of x minus 3 to the power of 4 minus 1. Provide exact answer and then round to two decimal places. Right? Now when we are talking about x intercepts that means points where the value of the function is 0. So we can write 0 equals to half of x minus 3 to the power of 4 minus 1. Now we need to figure out what are the values of x for which the value of the function is 0. So we can rearrange and calculate. So we get 1 equals to half of x minus 3 to the power of 4 or 2 equals to x minus 3 to the power of 4. So we just cross multiply or multiply both sides by 2. Now it's degree 4. What we will do is, we'll do first square root. So when we do square root of 2, we'll get plus minus, and here we get x minus 3 whole square, right? I'm purposely doing it in two steps. Now that is our equation. Now if we do again square root, we'll get imaginary numbers when square root of 2 is taken as negative, so we have to take positive values, correct? So I'll do it on the right side, further calculations. So what we can do is, now we'll again do square root. So we get x minus 3 as equals to square root of square root of 2, right? So we'll only consider the positive values since the negative values, square root is imaginary, right? So consider only positive square root 2, right? Since the negative square root cannot be square rooted further, right? So that is what you get. And from here we can say x is equals to 3 plus square root of square root 2. So that is the exact value. Now to find, okay, now when we do this square root, then we have to write plus and minus. Both are valid. So the answer is plus and minus of square root of 2, square root of 2, right? Now we can use calculator, so that is the exact answer. And figure out what is square root of square root 2 or 2 to the power of 1 over 4 as you put, right? So let's use the calculator. So we say 2 to the power of 1 over 4. So 2 to the power of, you can say 0.25, that is 1 over 4, which is, we can write 3 plus or minus. 1.189. We, we need to round to two decimal places. Let's straight away round this to 1.19, right? So that gives us two different answers. So one could be 3 plus, which will give us 4.19. The other one will be 3 minus 1.19. That gives us 1.81. So these are the two answers rounded to two decimal places. Correct. So we get x intercepts at x equals to 4.19 or 1.81. So these are the answers for us. So go through the calculations once again. The trick part here is that when you square root 2, you should not take negative value of square root 2 since further square root of negative is not possible, right? Or what you could have done is straight away 2 to the power of 1 over 4. You could have written that with plus and minus, right? So which is like 2 to the power of 1 over 4, which is same as plus and minus. So you could use this also. Both are one and the same thing. And get your answer both in exact and decimal numbers. I hope that helps.